I got three words for you. Shut it down. Log out of the social media. Get off the internet. Unplug and evaluate where you are and where you're supposed to be. You got one life to live. The question is, why are you here? And what are you going to do about it? Because the truth of the matter is, you have survived the greatest traumas of your life. Life has hit you. Life has knocked you to the ground. There are people that have tried to bury you alive and you survived. So I need you to disappear for 30 days. I need you to disappear for just one month. Don't worry about the prize. You worry about the process. You don't decide when you're born. You don't decide when you die. But you got a whole lot to do with that in-between stuff. Listen to me. Whatever you put your heart to do, whatever you put your mind to do, whatever it is that you want to accomplish, I don't care if you don't have no support. With me, you, alone, we can get this thing done, baby, all right? Who am I talking to? I'm talking to that person that's tired of where they are and you are bold enough, you are crazy enough, you are courageous enough to shut it down for 30 days. The window of opportunity and sometimes the window of life, it closes quickly and so I need you to do me a huge favor, man. I need you to get busy living. The future is very expensive and it requires sacrifice now. Can you depart from instant gratification and suffer now that you live the rest of your life a champion? All you need to get where you're going, you already got it, right? You already have it. All I need you to do is believe in yourself. Disappear for 30 days. Come back and shock the world! Can you identify what has kept you broken? What has kept you broke? What has kept you defeated? What has kept you covered under the blankets of anxiety and stress and overwhelm? But you're trying to make business moves with people that don't think like you. They don't walk like you. They don't sacrifice like you. They're not willing to put in the blood, the sweat, the tears behind closed doors. A man is rewarded in public for what he does in private. I need you to disappear for the next 30 days. What does that look like? 720 hours dedicated to the future. I need you to disappear for 30 days. Just 30 days. Can you walk away for 30 days? Can you silence the doubters for 30 days? Can you tell everybody to be quiet for 30 days so you can focus on you? Who you are today has gotten you as far as you're going to get. If you're going to get any further, you gotta reinvent yourself. And if you're going to reinvent yourself, you've gotta shut it down for 30 days. I need you to pursue it. I need you to go get it, all right? I need you to go get it. Don't wait for it to come to you, all right? Greatness is not gonna come knock on your door. There's some opportunity that's not gonna come knock on your door. You gotta go get them. Without even knowing you, if you're watching me, I already know you got something within that you wanted. I already know that. Because I already know you can. But my question to you, young people, this summer, will you? I already know what you're capable of doing. But my question is, will you reach your potential? You've been too focused on who was not there for you and who did not believe in you and the people that just said it but didn't do it. You've been too focused on that. The trauma, the anxiety, and, I, and I'm wondering if you can begin to shift that focus in the next 30 days, if you can begin to shift that focus on what's working in your life, what's within your control and not what's outside of your control. What can you control? Who can you influence? The first person that needs to be influenced in your life is you. It's you. You can't lead anybody. You can't go anywhere unless you have awakened yourself on the inside to follow a specific plan. Write it out. I need you to disappear for 30 days. Listen to me very closely. It is no shame in wanting to quit. All right? No shame in wanting to quit. 
Let me just real quick, let me be honest with you. Let me be transparent with you. I'm saying this stuff, this school stuff is killing me. Like, it's cramping my style. And I just, for a second, y'all, can I just be transparent? I was like, I can't stand school right now. I got one more stats class to go to be finished with my coursework for the PhD. And I'm telling y'all, I was like, I'm ready to quit. I'm ready to give up. It ain't no shame in thinking about quitting. It ain't no shame. It ain't no shame in getting tired. It's no shame in feeling burnt out. It's no shame. But the trick is, don't just think about it. Say to yourself, I got to rethink it and get this thought out of my mind. Why? Because the shame is in quitting. So if you thought about it, there ain't nothing wrong with that boo. Don't let that thought become a reality, all right? Three words for you. Shut it down. We cannot have the future without revelation. We need to see how far we are from where we're supposed to be. Once you shut it down, you'll be able to diagnose. You'll be able to examine. You'll be able to repair the roads. You still keep trying to walk into your future fractured, broken, hurting. You need to walk into your future whole. You can decide the quality of your life, all right? Listen to me. You, you are not a victim. Okay, nope, I can't decide how I was born. Nope, I can't say when I die. What you can do is you can control all that stuff in between. And, and I know you're broken, and I know you're tired, and I know you're weary, and I know you're confused, and, and I know that you've got questions, and I know you're fractured, and I know you're bleeding in places nobody can see. But if you shut it down, you can heal. You're standing at the precipice, the edge of the greatest move in your life. And, and, and the time is now like never before to take a leap of faith. It takes faith to jump off of the edge. It takes faith to step into your purpose. It takes faith to step into your destiny. It takes faith to pull away from everything that is familiar, to step into uncharted territory, to become the person you were born to be. It takes faith. Can you disappear for 30 days? Put in the work. Examine what you've written. Think over the things you've discussed with people. Go through the process. Go through the mud. Inhale. Exhale. I know it's cold on the other side, but it's time for you to cross over because you're too comfortable. <laughs>